Hey y'all, found this cool uh, cool section. It's got Bibles in it, it's got some cool things, cool books, really interesting. Uh, what's that say? Black Christian book too, which is awesome. James Patterson, I see him all the time. Uh, it's kind of crazy how many books he's, some of these authors have written. What's that say? Uh, it's actually a good time to make this video though. I'm just gonna leave these books. Although, mm, do I need a Bible? Maybe. Hold up. I don't feel like I need a Bible though. I mean, I'll take it, whatever. I'll take it. Bye now. Bye. Anyway, got the Bible. Uh, God is good. I have been wrestling, uh, spiritually wrestling things a lot. Hey, Rick Astley for president. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually pretty funny. Check that out. Rick Astley, he will, for president, he'll never give you up, make you cry, let you down, or desert you. So, Rick Astley for president. Just kidding. Um, it's pretty funny. I need that. When I get my own place, I'm getting those, I'm getting that sign. For sure. But anyway, I have been wrestling with God in a way. The devil's been on my, you know, he's just been on my back, just trying to just take me out. And it's annoying and stressful. And I realize I have to, <clears throat> I have to like, I don't know, I have to just take a step back. You know, I'm trying to do all this stuff with no energy. I feel like. I'm always supposed to do something, you know? I always feel like I do this, I do this, I have to go. Move here. Boom, 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 boom. But God has been telling me to relax. Relax. Relax, relax. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like how, I don't even know how to relax, you know? I don't, no matter what I'm doing, even if there's nothing to do, I'm thinking about something. I'm worrying about something. Like, always something, right? So it doesn't matter if I'm sitting still, have a day off from work, anything. It's just like, no matter what, always overthinking everything. So, it's not very helpful. Uh, it's not helpful at all. And so... <coughs> yeah, anyway. I've been... Trying to relax. And that means relax from my thoughts, from what I'm going to do, how it's going to work, this, that, and the other. And literally take a rest days. I've been sleeping so much lately. I haven't got good sleep in like a long time. I've been sleeping like nine, ten hours past week. Ever since I've been home, I've been home ever since now uh, for about, about ten days. Uh, so I've been resting, like trying to rest. I realized I've aged a lot. My eyes they look dark, and it's birdhouse. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, the license plate says "Loving Me, Love Yourself, Love Yourself." Plus, you have the Holy Spirit, and you can just learn to like relax. She got a cross in her car. That's cool. Um, learn to relax. This video is to relax. Some of you guys definitely need to relax. Um, when it comes to fear and worry, I swear, I feel like I'm like number top five, you know, in the country. I feel like, you know, I'm just like, so, I know it seems crazy. But I may not seem like I worry in my videos, but I do worry a lot. Too much, way too much. Like, I'm way too much. It drives me crazy. And I can see it on my face. Literally, I can see the effects of the stress and worry on my face. 
years later it's like wow yeah it's not good so i kind of didn't i didn't give up but i've given up in a way of like not taking care of myself you know i'm like hey, that's what happens when you become depressed you don't take care of yourself you, you stop thinking and worrying you stop talking i mean not you stop thinking about things that are important stop thinking about you don't even want to go out you know just like man i don't even want to do anything i don't want to do this that so in a way i'm blessed to be where i'm at right now parents let me stay at their house so it's kind of good and i can relax and not worry about all this different stuff so it's a blessing i needed it definitely needed it i actually needed it longer like before but i wasn't listening to god i didn't want to go back home but I'm glad I decided to. Um, yeah, I mean, I made mistakes. I'm learning from my mistakes. I made mistakes to the point of like, like not listening to God. And it caused me a lot of problems in, in my journey here. Like I've been going through a lot of different things. I keep seeing the turtles again, the turtles. Where are the turtles? I don't know if you guys ever watched The Office. Michael Scott, <laughs> he uh, gives this guy a like, package or something for, for being uh, one of their paper, own to somebody that bought their paper products, and and I think they like stopped the deal, so they went to go get the package. I think they lost the car along the way. They <laughs> and when they got there, it was like, where are the turtles? Because they were missing from the uh, like it was like a part of the package and they're missing from his from his chocolate thing or something I don't know it was just funny but anyway I'm kind of renting I feel like this is a podcast uh, I'm back in this cool town I used to come to all the time which I love I don't know what it is about this town I just really love this town it's very calm and nice uh, very green it's extremely green out here but it is fall so things are changing but yeah anyway god picks up the turtles that was a video i made a long time ago and that's true like he redeems the year or yeah like you'll have all these missed years and missed opportunities we all have them but he redeems it he like literally gives you uh what you've lost like in a shorter amount of time like he opens these opportunities up for you uh, and things could change really fast really quick and we do we totally forget that as humans we like totally forget that i mean you know have it to the best of us we all forget these things but god's saying be deeply rooted those are all that's a tree those roots are so deep for this tree wow be rooted in the truth. Yeah, be rooted in the truth. <sighs> um, the truth really sets you free. And the devil knows how to completely just pounce on the truth. Man. Like, he's so good at lying that it seems like it's real or truth. Like, it's so dangerous. And I've been believing a lot of lies that have been stressing me out for years. And I'm learning. And, not, and some things are not lies. That's why it's hurt so bad. Because, you know, you think about your past. You're like, man, he brings up these things in the past. These thoughts. These, uh, you know, your, your mistakes. Those things are real. You know, those things happen. So, it, it makes you angry, you know. I'm, I mean, I get angry from these thoughts. I'm like, man. But then I realize God says let go, you know. You have to let it go. He has more for you, not to be anxious about the future and not to be angry about the past, but to let everything go. Just live in the present. Try to take care of yourself. <clears throat> but sometimes the devil wants us to just go, 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 do, do, do this stuff, do this, do this, keep going. And you just get burnt out. Like you do these, it's like, spr it's like sprinting versus a marathon. You know, yeah, there's times of sprint. Oh, you see that water on the step and it says 404. Keep seeing 404. I heard somebody say 404 is like a wink, like God's winking at them. And ever since then, I've been seeing it. It's kind of interesting. 
but I think it means I can't remember what else it means. I think it means like error. Well, it also means error in like I think computer language. But yeah, I don't know. It just depends what God's saying to you. Um, I got a oh, those Colorado license plate. Oh, it's Maryland. But yeah, anyway, uh, God is good. I'm just relaxing. I'm learning to relax. I feel so weird being back home because it feels like like I've changed so much in the past year that when I'm back here, I just think all the old memories. I'm like, dude, like felt way longer than what it's been. It feels like it's been like 10 years, but it's only been a year and a half. I think my perspectives have just changed so much that I feel like a different person. But I still feel flawed. I still feel like I'm such a flawed person. It's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, it's like, what? When am I going to get there, you know? Whatever this place is, you know? But God is faithful. So I'm learning to trust Him. I'm making this video just to let people know to relax. Try not to overthink. Try to just... Because God wants you to chill out sometimes, you know. God really does want you to just, like, have, enjoy what He's given you. And for me, that's such a hard thing to do. It's so hard for me to enjoy what He's given me. I always feel like there's something to do. And it can be very stressful. So it's not... God's not calling us to kill ourselves. Like, you know, He's trying to live life and life more abundantly. So, you gotta rake up the leaves, if you will, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. It's right up the street. I was gonna go to a coffee shop, get me a coffee or something, and just chill out. But it's actually college up here as well. Uh oh. Running into people. There's too many people, man. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna recross. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to get a house. That'd be great. Have your own place, you can make it the way you want to make it, you know? That'd be great. My bad, y'all had to pause, man. Look at these leaves. So beautiful. Man, I love these colors. So I love it out here. It's so beautiful. I came to the right place during fall, man. Pennsylvania is a great place to go during the fall. Um, I think that's really it, though. Just relax. I'm kind of venting. Um, yeah, I'm kind of venting because... Life is not always easy, and you can see that in the Bible, all over the place. But God is always faithful, and so, yeah, that's it. Uh, praise God, be a blessed, and have a blessed day.